On a tree-lined street in downtown Rochester, New York, you'll find a beautiful Colonial Revival mansion. Once the home of a famous American captain of industry, today it's the home of the world's premier photography and motion picture arts museum. This is the George Eastman House. George Eastman was the founder of the Eastman Kodak Company, um, and he basically is known as the person who simplified photography and made it easy enough for everyone to take pictures. The story that's always um, told is that Mr. Eastman and Mr. Edison were at a meeting and George Eastman pulls out this roll film he has in his pocket and says, see this flexible stuff, this is what you need for your early you know, cinematography cameras and your kinetoscope. And this flexible stuff, combined with Thomas Edison's motion picture camera, was the beginning of an industry and an art form that changed our world. Upon his death, George Eastman left his home to the University of Rochester, which used it for several years as the president's home. In 1947, it became the world's first photography museum. The mission of the International Museum of Photography at George Eastman House is to collect, to preserve, to exhibit, and to educate people on the history and development of photography and motion pictures. The restoration and preservation of photographic and motion picture materials is a primary component of the museum's mission. Today, the collection contains over 400,000 photographs and negatives and over 25,000 motion pictures. This collection takes a tremendous amount of space, space that requires very specific and continuous environmental control. What's the best thing I can do for my film? Cool and dry. Cool and dry, that's what we keep repeating. We've learned over the last 30 years that that is the secret. Nitrocellulose film starts to degrade from the moment it's made. It's flammable. It's two molecules from being gun cotton, but it is safe as long as it's handled properly, as long as it's stored properly. We still have in our nitrate vaults the original camera negatives from films that are 50 to 100 years old. And that, that's amazing. George Eastman House maintains 11 separate vaults for different types of film material. The highly flammable nitrate-based films are stored at the Lewis B. Mayer Conservation Center in nearby Chai Lai, New York. Built like a fortress, this vault, due to the volatile nature of its contents, also has the most sophisticated and unique environmental control systems. We had to build a 3,000 square foot facility uh, to store motion picture, nitrate motion picture, each vault is 1,000 cubic feet. We run year-round, 23 degree chill water, explosion-proof vaults where uh, we have 16 sprinkler heads because this film burns underwater. To do so, we installed uh, two semi-ton uh, compressors, one's with redundancy for uh, running our vault. To meet the mission-critical needs for environmental control of this facility, Vigiani turned to Ur Supply Centers, where regional manager Mike Noli pulled together a team to provide a cutting-edge solution. The uh, environment where the film is stored in this facility is critical. So one of the things that we looked at in our approach was how can we provide 100% reliability uh, without any risk of failure on the part of uh, a chiller system providing the cooling aspect of the environmental control. Reliability and redundancy were the key issues for this installation, and the water chiller was the critical component that could not fail. Earth Supply turned to Liquid Chill to design and construct a chiller that was bulletproof. The requirements for this project required a custom application. No off-the-shelf unit was available. This had to be designed and built special for this particular requirement. Uh, we believe that Bitzer Compressor was the only fit for this particular project. And it was designed for a completely redundant application for high reliability and efficiency. Michael Vigiani readily agreed to the Bitzer-based system. He was already using Bitzer compressors in the other film vaults maintained by George Eastman House. While reliability was the key issue, Vigiani also had additional reasons for selecting Bitzer. We have capital costs, so what we want to do is we'll pay a little more money up front. We want to be paying ongoing maintenance for the machine. So five years down the road, I don't want to be spending ten or fifteen thousand dollars for replacement or servicing. So in the Bitzer, uh, most of our compressors, we have not have to work on our compressors and spending a lot of money on maintenance. 
There's no doubt that the soul and spirit that defines the mission of the International Museum of Photography at George Eastman House is contained in these vaults. Over 100 years of history, achievement, and dreams. And at the heart of the technology that preserves and protects these priceless artifacts is a Bitzer compressor. The cutting-edge technology of today guarding the cutting-edge technology of the past. I do not know of another compressor manufacturer in the industry that provides a compressor that has the features and benefits of the Bitzer product. The Bitzer screw compressor is by far a standalone product in our industry. I made the decision to buy Bitzer compressors for this project because of their high reliability, their ability to load and unload infinitely, and their impressive support staff. Low time machines are critical, and why we choose Bitzer was that they have a capability to run low temp water and run down lower without having problems. Uh, and that's why we choose we choose Bitzer.